There is a hole in our boat. <laughs> Lone still here. Tell me again, why are we doing this? It's always an amazing adventure to live with engineer. You never know where you will find your stuff, for example. This is the design of the new faucet. You can see that William took my tripod and um, made this beautiful design. I guess he didn't like to be a faucet. some round cutting discs. Okay. They look just like this. They're very skinny. Okay. Bring me one of those, please. Perfect. It should have a guard on it. You don't have a guard? Well, somewhere. William. adventure because who knows what lurks behind this <laughs> wall of palm trees. We are in Little Havana. Little Havana. Let's go to Havana. <laughs> I can understand why. I would go out of the house and he would say, Yana, did you remember to take your head with you? Your dad was this very wise man. <laughs> now I've taken his pot. <laughs> and you would say, head? head? What head? <laughs> Do you have rosa blanco? A rosa blanco? A rosa blanco? Ensalada? A rosa blanca, ensalada. Ah, and pollo? Pollo? No pollo. So rosa blanco and uh, well, shrimp. Uh, what is that? Tast, uh, Tastani. Ensalada? Yes, and those. Yes, and camarones on the plate. Yes, and camarones on the plate. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Good 
Pero no por mí. Your head doesn't have lemon juice. I don't know if I put you already have a hole in it. You don't need to get taller, so... <laughs> <laughs> Recreating. Thank you. Conditioning. We don't have to worry about the water draining anymore. So this is a hole in our boat. One of them. Try it in a while, in, in America actually. Oh, practicing. 
the back is in the van. Yeah, <laughs> One spoon for William, six spoons for John. We have Guarapa. To, now Guarapa. We have, <laughs> now we have the siesta. <laughs> this siesta is long, what's happening? If you never tried Guarapa, you wasted your life to nothing. <laughs> no, no Besides, yellow. Guarapa is juice from a sugar cane, right? Fresh sugar cane. Fresh sugar cane. Oh, boy. William is getting the watermelon till the scraps. I think he will eat the pork. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's not your last watermelon. <laughs> but you never ate a watermelon in your life. This boatyard time is a disaster. I never thought that I will see a hole in our boat, but apparently that's what's happening. We have to stay optimistic, which is almost impossible in the current situation. Hey! Now you're like in the mattress, I see. Wanna lay down with me? No, I do, but here we have... A boy. Yeah. She painted the pilot house today and a few little things. Um. Here's a good idea. Do you see this? There the metal is supposed to be that thickness. If you go in here, that was the thickness. Because on the other side, water sat here. So up the water sat, you don't have anywhere near the thickness of the metal that you're supposed to have. And right here, where the hammer fell through, was another little dimple. There you can see how the metal thickness varies in just a small little area. So you can have really good metal right here, and an eighth of an inch later have very bad thickness. That's why you need to audio gauge the boat? Yes. I always look at this thing and I think it's some kind of nest with worms. It's not good wheel for this thing. Well, it catches a little bit sometimes. There is a piece missing. <laughs> yes, there is. Good observation. And where is that piece inside the boat? Yeah. That's why you have to have a guard because if it breaks off, it doesn't come flying into your face. It's from here here. So this is in very good steel. go up north because I can't be away from my Cuban coffee. Cuban coffee is cotaro and cotrito. Azúcar. <laughs> Means make it sweet. Bueno, boy. We're going to be laying here. <laughs> So, in Spanish, sin azúcar? Sin azúcar. Sin azúcar. So, azúcar? Sin azúcar. 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 Sin az
sails. <laughs> Good. Hi Anna, nice to meet you. And, and William. <laughs> yeah, William bought this beautiful shirt on sale. And it's a little bit too big for him, as you can see. We're gonna grow into it. <laughs> Hopefully not. audio gate view <laughs> I think it's Lone still here I'm <laughs> <Thick skull. laughs> <laughs> Oh So what are we going to do with this hole? Use it for cleaning the boat air conditioning Yeah, it's pretty thin all over here I'm going to have to cut this Clearly from here to here and to here and then put in a whole new piece. This is where that water was coming from the air conditioner. Sitting down here for who knows how long. So just having the wrong type of installation air conditioner. Luckily this is a steel bolt. If this is a fiberglass you could get inside and underneath the paint and now you can be rotting the fiberglass away or the core. This is one of my areas of suspect, and it's very thin right here. Where's the other location we have to check like this? On the other side. Yes, and? Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Just you thought you were all. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember when you removed the generator? You yes. were tearing all that insulation out? Yes. Underneath there, there was water sitting. So wherever there's possible water, there's possible growth. We are proposing this piece of the boat to the best comment under this video. If you want a piece of the mattress instead of a piece of the boat, that's available too. That was supposed to be painted today. Yeah, but I didn't, I ran out of paint, so I didn't want to start put it in a batch because it's already end of the day. Oh, what year are we leaving? 2020. I'm gonna paint it tomorrow. What is that steel? Oh wow, look at the difference. Yeah, but see how thick this is? This yeah. is too thin. And this is too fat. Too thick. This is way too thick. <laughs> I think our board should be from this. It is in many parts. So the, what was the original? thickness. Well, it's a European standard and it's also tempered. It's not regular steel, so that's a special kind of steel. Write that comment. We'll get that special steel in your house. Maybe we'll cut it in pieces. That's kind of large to ship to somebody. Yes. Yeah. is absolutely insane. Every day we are in the boat yard, it just becomes worse and worse when it's supposed to be improving. This is improving. It doesn't look to me as it. Crawling after the boat yard day back home. <laughs> I'm so happy that the sun every evening was cooking us to death so today I took out some grommets a roll of sombrella 
and cut the fabric. We always have a roll of fabric on board. Inserted grommets where the screws are and now we have a privacy deck still seeing a great view of the river oops and of the wife, the wife. <laughs> This is a private view though